the White Scars are on the hunt for Drukhari Raiders. Space Marine Steve has caught a tiger by the tail here. JT is ready for the storm. JT is the voice of Playon and an experienced Dark Eldar general, as cunning as he is devious. Oh, I love it! The arenas of Kamara will be filled! Hey everybody, it's uh, JT, and I am excited today. Why am I excited, you may ask? I get to play my boy Steve. Space Marine Steve should need no introduction, but here one is, the man, the myth, the legend, Space Marine Steve. Hey everybody, this is Space Marine Steve from Play on Tabletop. Boy, am I ever pumped to be here. I am playing today the White Scars. I'm taking our White Scars for a little bit of a spin. And uh, I must say, and I don't mean to make anyone else feel uncomfortable when I say this, but vroom vroom. I love it. So my list today is a speedy one, but also one that hits pretty hard. Uh, I have got a Terminator captain, and he's leading up one squad of Terminators. I have got the new chaplain in Terminator armor, and he's leading up another squad of Terminators. And then I have got uh, two squads of Outriders, one of them which is being led by a chaplain, and the chaplain is going to outflank and come in on turn one, don't tell JT. And then I've got a Lancer for some long range firepower, and a couple of jump pack boys. My list today consists of some off choices, if you will. I do have my Scourges, which are my Kinnerai conversions. I've got a couple of Ravagers. Never leave home without Ravagers, but what I've got today is the big bad boy. You've seen him before, you love him. The Tantalus is on the table. It's got some grotesques and racks inside it. Both of these forces are fast, but Steve has Terminators and a Lancer, hard armor that could stop the pirates cold. The Drukhari, Scrooges, and Ravager are sporting Dark Lances, so early positioning will be important. Steve and I have been playing games against each other since, quite frankly, the dawn of time. There was Fire, and then there was JT versus Steve. It, it, this is actually kind of a rare occurrence. Usually, JT is behind all the cameras. He's a part of the magic that makes all of this so wonderful. So when we get uh, his smiling and big beaming face on the table, it's, uh, it's always a treat. The primary mission is priority targets. Hold one for five points, two or more for 10, and up to 15 in round five. Supply lines will generate some extra command points to fuel this sweeping engagement. Today's mission is a classic take and hold, so we need to hold a couple of objectives, and if we hold our own, we're gonna get an extra command point, uh, possibly, so we've got some, some definite need to hammer an anvil a little bit. Steve's list is fast. He's got lots of bikes, he can advance and charge. White Scars are kind of scary. I'm actually really worried about his Terminators. Chain Fists are gross, and they could chew up my vehicles. That said, I have lots of guns, and guns go bang, and they go pew, and they go pshoo, and what does a dark lens sound like? It's gonna be a fun game. Boy, howdy. This is gonna be a slobber knocker. Real barn burner. Real barn burner. Real oh, barn a knockout, drag out. White Scars versus Drukari. The fast. Who's faster? Fa who's fast? It's gonna be me. I kind of like the fact that you have higher toughness and are as fast as me. Part of me wants to keep track loosely on how many inches we travel throughout the entire game and see which one of us moves the furthest. Is that like a distance. total running? Yeah, like a total running inches. So for purposes, because of course this objective is on top, I think if we're touching through these two fins here, as long as we're touching that, then we control that objective. I guess it comes down to who's gonna go first. This is gonna be a fun match. Who is faster? I don't know, I think it's me. I think you're right. Okay. I start the game with five pain tokens. I love way. every minute of that. Uh, those are my free rerolls and shenanigans. I begin the game being an awesome space marine. We should clarify as well that the terrain is blocking completely for everything, save these two pieces, the crates, and those three, three man pipes. Here we go. Uh, that is not in the box. It's a one. Scourge is in reserve. The Drukhari are always ready to pounce. Steve's Space Marines have Terminators in Deep Strike Reserve. He hopes to catch the Drukhari unaware. You can drop first, sir. Jumper Sessors, start behind the mountain. Kabalites in a Venom behind the industrial machine in the far corner. Infantry can go inside them so we can walk through these walls of this of this yes. set of ruin. And so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Terminator squad with the... Um, Chaplain, and I'm gonna just place all of them right in here. This squad's got a big heavy flamer on it too, which is looking Ooh. very imposing. Yeah, that's not good. Archon and his Cabalites are in a Venom. 
spikes towards the middle. No one rides better than the White Scars. Now Malatok sent these to me, which they're super cool, but they're mandrakes. Very cool. Jump Marines in the middle. Oh, jumpy dudes. Oh yes, jumpy dudes. Oh my, yes. Got a couple of these, they're exciting. You do. I'm gonna drop my Reaver jet bikes way back here in the corner, behind the building, wholly within nine of the table corner. I wonder why I'm doing that. Ooh, the Lancer, Steve's most dangerous gun, and he is done. I'm gonna drop a Ravager back here. Ravager tucks in, nasty firepower. Second, Ravamajur is gonna go right here. Now the Tantalus, the Catamaran of Doom. I think that's it, dude, we're deployed. Small forces, big guns. Yes. Hoos! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hot dog. Oh, is it gonna be me? I, I am not going first. first. Steve nabs first turn and will set the pace. Board position will come with the price of exposure. Let's see how bold the White Scars are feeling today. Magnet Baron rocks! If you want your models magnetized in style, MagnetBaron.com is the place for you. Built for purpose by folks who wanted their models to have options, break down for travel, be poseable, and all the other wonderful traits that magnets bring to our hobby. Check out the custom flight stands. All the gear you need, including glues, drills, pre-made bases, penguins, and of course, magnets. The Magnet Baron has you covered, nose to tail. So, bite the bullet, or magnet. You can do it, smash that link below, and make your magnetized dreams come true with Magnet Baron today. Area denial and extend battle lines are fine secondary draws for the White Scars. The Ravager is the Oath of Moment target. All right, so I got first turn. I'm not super excited about that. I would have really preferred JT gone first so that he could come out of his little hiding spot a little bit. Supply lines can't help yet, as Steve has not had a chance to claim his own home objective, as we have yet to end a phase this game. Let's jump right to the action. Assault interceptors, they're gonna advance. Whoosh, five whole inches, oh. A 17 inch advance. Whee. He's got a choice. He can hide and give me board control, or he can press. I think a smart move is to press because that way he's going to make me make decisions and anytime you make someone make decisions they can make the wrong one. So I think it's a smart move if he presses and that could cause me some real fits in my movement phase. It's gonna depend on his shooting phase though. Steve is streaking up the board, grabbing objective after objective. My squad of Terminators here, uh, they're also going to advance. I got a three. His enhancement allows him to reroll advance rolls. Oh baby, go. look at them go. Terminators at a sprint. No, we're gonna move, we're just gonna stay put. Uh, my movement phase, I'll go to my um, re reinforcement step. I'm gonna bring in the Outriders just like so, so I can get all kinds of guns uh, lined up on that Ravager. And if all else fails, uh, what I will do is I'll charge them with my advancing uh, jump pack Marines and uh, maybe finish them off that way. Losing a Ravager on the first turn isn't the end of the game, but it stings. Three Dark Lances gone would be tough. So going into my shooting, a squad of bikers and just Try slam to pop my everything into the Ravager. The Catechism of Fire makes those bikes dangerous. Draw on threes, you're rolling. Oh yeah, both the moments here to save me. It's not a bad target. None of them. Not with rolls like that. Uh, multi melt yeah, so these are, uh, yeah, so threes rolling. The multi melter hits for six damage, very nice. I have five remaining on my Ravager that you oathed. So then we'll go to the charge phase and we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna get in there. Uh, so I'm gonna take this squad here. You're in, baby. Oh, with an eight. Mm. Big first round charge. He tags the Ravager. All right, here we go, I need the nine. nine. The bikes fail and no reroll from Steve. He has faith his assault intercessors can finish the job. Piles. Yes, sir. And so the assault intercessors are gonna beat up on that Ravager for a little while. One command point on Shock Assault will give them plus one to wound. Rerolling, because it's awesome. Draw on fives. Five. Oh, baby. Uh, I'm gonna make three. Ah, come on. Uh, so, hitting on threes. Not quite. Two wounds remain on that Ravager. So close. I did not kill the Ravager. That is so annoying. JT's Mandrakes fade into the shadows and will be able to sneak on later. 
So you didn't kill me. Okay, but I maimed you though, and uh, and uh, you're in combat now. And solid scoring and fantastic board position. Steve is off to the races. White scars score both of their secondaries for ten points and a healthy lead. So start of my turn. I will go to two command points. I will go to one. Bring it down and engage in all fronts. Interesting draw. Getting at that gladiator will take some effort. I need a battle shock test on my Ravager. Oh, I need to roll two dice. He fails miserably. Fails. I ain't going nowhere. So I'm gonna move my Venom. Move up to 14, but I really don't need to go that far. I'm gonna tuck to here, and as we mentioned, touch this so that I'm holding that objective. And I want to get my Archon and his friends out. The Dark Elves pop out, looking for blood. So I'm gonna fly over these dudes. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. My Reaver Jet bikes are flying over your Assault Marines. Whoosh, whoosh. The bike's eviscerating flyby slices an Assault Marine with three mortal wounds. I'm gonna hop these dudes out, because I can do some work here. Because I can go through this terrain, I basically end up on the bottom floor here. The racks come up with their homunculus. What is wrong with me, Steve? Oh, what is that? Tantalus what is, is that like a three inch move on the Tantalus? Oh my, I'm good. It's going in the book. Uh, it's a total of four and a half, thank you. Okay. I'm rounding down on I principle. Would... <laughs> like... <laughs> I, yeah, you're right. I would like to deep strike them behind your lines, sir. Mandrakes are so good for scoring. They pop down behind Steve's mountain. Trixie Elves. Start of my shooting phase. The Archon loves the pain. A token for rerolls. The Ravager will reroll as well. Let's start with the Archon E ability, shall we? A splinter Cannon, Dark Lance, Blaster, Shredder, and two Blast Pistols, all going into the Assault Squad that is on the center objective. Archon's Cabalites lash out with alien weaponry and wipe out the Jumper Sessors. Neat and tidy. Okay, so the Archon Squad really just overperformed. I didn't think I'd pick up all of those Marines, but I did. So that means I kill the squad, I get the pain token back. This Ravager is gonna target your squad at the back. I'm gonna ride the hardest and the fastest. Okay. Devious Mastermind will make the ride hard, ride fast stratagem cost more for the rest of the battle. But for now, the Outriders will be hard to hit and wound. Full strength. Sounds good. Ha <laughs> ha! So this one here. Yes, I'm the hardest and the fastest. You are the hardest and fastest. On force, uh, but Reboot. he's re-rolling. Thank goodness. Goes to threes. One wound, AP three. Save. No. Uh, D6 plus two. Three. It's Tantalus time. The Tantalus blasts the bikes and takes one down. That was not as good as it could be. I only took out, what, three Marines? The Tantalus and its pulsing did not do everything it needed did to do. Did not pulse enough. So I have 10 shots with splitter rifles from this Venom into your Terminators. And then I have six shots with the splinter cannons into the same target. Rifles first, 10 shots on threes. No rerolls, just straight rolls. The Venom targets the Terminators, but the Splinters bounce. Two damage after all is said and done. I'm gonna mess up these Assault Marines, I think is yeah, it's do charge it. time. So I will start my charge with my Reaver Jet Bikes. Yeah. And I'm gonna go six inches. Yeah. Reaver Jet Bikes charge in. Rax and Homoculus follow up. Those Assault Intercessors are in trouble. Therefore, I will start, as you cannot interrupt me, Sal. I will spend one of my pain tokens. Pain token on the racks. JT is making sure of this. So I'll start with the crazy, crazy homunculus. The homunculus shows him how it's done. Horror weapons hack down two marines. The ceramite is not holding. And then we will do the rest of the racks. Uh, Rerolling to hit on threes. Ooh. Well, that's pretty good. Three ups! Ah! I fail three of them. So uh, the sergeant is alive with one singular wound remaining. And I think I'm going to kill him now. And AP1 first. Ooh, murderous. He dies screaming. Picking up his assault squad in combat with my Ravager was kind of big. Now he's got to split fire if he wants to hurt stuff. Archon hops in his ride with his bodyguard and the round ends. 68 and 77 inches traveled. The lines have met. Speed on speed. No surprise there, but I think the bikes have surprised JT. And the Mandrakes certainly shocked Steve. And they also snagged three victory points for engage in all fronts. JT drops, bring it down, eating the CP. 
10 to three. JT's turn was not great for me. To score the secondaries, I, I did like purposely stick my neck out and to get that area denial in the very beginning was a risk. I kind of wish I didn't have to take it, but I really, really wanted those five points. And I mean, it's showing on the scoreboard. I'm ahead of him. So I guess the goal now is to stay ahead of him. Maneuver on maneuver. Who can outposition who in round two? Okay, things are looking all right for me in the second round. Uh, JT is swift and is beating me in our little race, which I do not appreciate and gonna have to remedy. Important choices for Steve here. It's time to commit to a plan one way or another. This is gonna be interesting turn two for Steve. He's got all of his assets on the board save one. Where those Terminators come in, I think is gonna determine how the rest of this game goes. Terminators are going to need to contend with Dark Lances if they are going to take the day. Deploy Teleport Homer and Assassination are the secondaries. So I control my home objective and on a four up, I gain another command point. I do not gain a command point. Oath of Moment is called on the Fresh Ravager. Delete that gunboat. Steve is Oath, my Ravager that's, that's not wounded. I think it's a good play. I'm concerned I'm gonna lose it. It's on my home objective and if he charges, kills it, He'll pile in and take away my sticky objective. I can't let that happen. Five points for holding an objective. White Scars, 15 to Drakari, three. <laughs> this goes right here. A unit of Terminators over there with the Chaplain is going to advance. Oh boy. Five or oh, 10, ten inches. Wee, wee, wee. One wee. of them is wounded, right? Wee, wee, this one. Advancing, draws Overwatch from JT. No beans. Bikes dive deep and go for the center. Terminators drop into the back line, hunting Mandrakes. Rapid ingress from JT. Down to two command points, the Scourges drop in behind the building in position to pop out for a kill. Ah yes, the shooting phase. So I deploy Teleport Homer in the center of the table with my bikers, and they score me three points. And the Lancer is gonna shoot into the... The Venom? The Venom over there. Okay. Uh, fail both. Uh oh It's a reroll one for the optic rule. The Lancer opens up on the Venom, but fails to take it down. Oh boy, down to two. Take that. Well, the Lancer has whiffed, and it didn't kill that Venom, and now my Terminators have to. And I have to make sure I get a big enough charge so I can bully him off of that objective. This... A socks. Five storm bolters, all in 20 shots on force. Better believe it. Oh, dearie my. Terminators pump shells into the Mandrakes. That's elf mist, yuck. 65 points of Mandrakes. It forced him to put his Terminators in the back corner. They're gonna be able to move up and shoot stuff and probably pick something up with the sheer volume that they have, but I'm happy they're away from me. So I'm gonna spend a command point. One command point for blitzing full Assad and the chaplain's bikes go to work. Agrees. Rerolling. So six is rerolling. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, I got two. I am down to seven wounds remaining. Take that. On my Ravamager. Yes. The Multimelta takes it down to four wounds. Not quite dead yet. All right, I, I did some good damage to that Ravager in the shooting phase, but you know what? The charge is where the real win comes from. So let's hit it up, is I'm gonna charge uh, the Terminators. Yes. Uh, into your- Into my Venom? Into your Venom. Terminators charge the Venom with an eight. They should slap it down. And then after that, yes, those guys into the Ravager. Here they come. Into the Ravager, let's go. Bikes into the Ravager, he's in. Neat charges, now for the fight. I'm gonna start with my Outriders. Sure. And then they're all going to attack uh, the, Ravager? the Ravager. So on threes, are you rolling? A bunch of them hit you. Uh, so fives. Uh, one AP, nothing. You don't have to roll for Litany anymore, which is nice, eh? No. Yeah, it's I great. take it. Down to three. Uh, the Chain Swords off of the dudes. Rerolling for Oath of Moment. All of them hit you. Take that. Fives. One, two, three. I take two wounds, sir. I am at one. Well, oh, the chaplain had better do it. Outriders wail on the Ravager, but a command reroll saves the Ravager with one wound remaining. Ha! Ah, I did it! I rolled a six! Luck is with me! I cannot believe that with a plus one to wound 
they did not kill the oathed ravager. I'm doing the Elaine. Cannot dance. believe it! I cannot believe it! The Venom folds to the Terminators, and a Drakari dies as they escape the wreckage. The Terminators pile onto the objective. No more damage. Assassinate is discarded for a command point, and a deployed Homer nets three victory points. 18 to 3, Steve is marching up the scoreboard. Battleshock is passed, and no extra CP for JT. Five pain tokens are enough for a ton of rerolls when and where JT needs them. Assassination and deploy Homer. Ooh, same Z's. Decent scoring opportunities. Five primary points put JT 10 from the tie. Ravager out to the objective. I'm gonna fall back the Ravager out of combat. Overwatch from the bikes. This could drop that alien ship. Dang for those sweet, sweet rerolls. Four hits. There you go, baby. Rerolling. Nope. Uh, nothing. Multi multa. There it is. Come on. Nothing. The re rolling. One hit. There it is. Does it wound? I need a four. Need a four. So close. Sometimes dreams just don't come true. I'm gonna drop the tunnel an inch away from you. Covers are just gonna sneak around behind your bikes here. Behind your squad. I'm gonna hopefully devastate the bejesus out of these guys right now. So we're gonna hop Archon and friends out. Archon back on the map and the Venom is deploying a homer. Mmm, Venom. Oh. I'm gonna spend a command point. Okay. And I'm gonna use a Wind Swift Evasion. I'm gonna be very sneaky. I deployed teleport homers in the middle here and I'm gonna get out of the way of his biggest and scariest guns. Mm -mm, you are not taking those bikes away from me right now. That is for sure. So my Cabalites are just gonna run backwards. Yeah, that checks out. Cabalites hide, elf style. The Scourges jump up, going gladiator hunting. Pain tokens. I will give one to the Scourges to reroll hits. Pain token to the Scourges, Ravager and Tantalus. I'll start with the Archon squad. Pistols are out. The Blaster, the Dark Lance, and the Shredder are the only things that can hit. The Blaster hits on a three. It wounds on a three. For some reason, the Blasters are higher. There you go. I'm good to go. Dark Lance on a four. Nope. Shredder, how many shots? Four. Strength six. Bikes, take a damage. Racks, target the Outriders. I will fire the Hex Rifle into the Chaplain because I can. The Sniper tags the Chappie for three damage. Nice shot. Two damage from the Ossifactor. Liquefire splashes the Ceramite, but no damage. The Reaver Bikes will target the same unit. Yay. Reavers zap the Outriders. Nope. The Tantalus. Now the Tantalus should be a wipe. Yes, it is. The Pulse Disintegrator does its nasty work. And because I killed a unit, that gives me a pain token. So I'll just take the pain token off the Tantalus and put it back on my side. I will spend a command point now. Grenade from the Scourges for a command point. Boom, four mortals. I will put the Blast Pistol into the bike squad, and I will put four Dark Lances into the Reaper. So the Blast Pistol on a three re-rolling. Hits, strength eight. It wounds. Six up. No. Two, four, two wounds, all right, okay. And then four Dark Lances. So here we go, this is big. I need the Gladiator Lancer dead now because its gun is scary and it whiffed last turn, it's not gonna whiff again. This thing needs to go away with full rerolls. <laughs> so I need uh, threes. Uh -oh. JT needs a command reroll to push through two Dark Lances. A big six from Steve saves the tank. All right, so one goes through and it does five damage. <laughs> but it's not 12. I, 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 I have rubber lances, what can I say? Dark lances give and they taketh away. This feels so much like sixth edition right now where my lances bounce off everything. Ouch, the gladiator's alive. This sort of sucks. JT gets to move after shooting and he fades back a tad. Ravager, now to finish the tank. Dark lances are so good. He misses, even with pain rerolls. The gladiator is still going. Woo! -hoo! Do you feel it? Do you feel it in the room? I was feeling rough. We can even go back in the tape. <laughs> when I didn't kill the other one, I was feeling so rough. But now, now I'm just, you're, I'm feeling spicy. Jeez. Like your ankles are wet, entire, but your cuffs are dry, like, brother. Yeah, my ankles wet. Cuffs. It's like I've eaten an entire can of cranberry sauce. That's how I'm feeling right now. Oh, I know it doesn't feel good. Oh, no, that doesn't feel good but, you, but you're energized. 
I'm gonna start with the homunculus squad charging the chaplain. I need a nine. Rax, fail the charge. It's time for the Tantalus to charge. Tantalus now boots in six to finish the chaplain with a scything charge. Two up, you take D3 mortals. On a four or five, you take three mortals. It's a two. Just the one, still alive. I will attempt to charge the bikes. Now the jet bikes, zip zip, they are in two. This is, it's like getting sad. I do have six attacks with the Tantalus. I think I'm gonna reroll the hits with the Tantalus. And if they, he doesn't kill it, then the bikes just have to hail Mary. The Tantalus does the deed, and the chaplain is down. That gives me a power from Pain Token for killing a unit. End of fight phase, Archon and squad jump back in their venom. Checks out. To be super annoying. I now have the ability to move out, and the question is gonna be where do I want to? He can advance and charge. It's gonna cost him command points to advance and shoot, but a lot of his threats are disappearing, and we're both running out of units. The Scourge has failed, and the Gladiator is still going, but JT scores eight for assassinating the Chaplain and deploying homers. Back and forth, the score is 18 to 16 for Steve as we close turn two, a very close game. I gotta make sure that I get the work out of the units that I do have over and over, turn after turn, and make sure that JT has to struggle through the next three turns of the game. We each gain a command point. We do, sir. A four up, I get an extra one. Huzzah! Oh, I get an extra one. Ooh, that oh, that's clutch. Good. That feels good. Secondary draws, no prisoners and behind enemy lines. These will be hard fought victory points for Steve in round three. The scourges are the oath of moment target. They will pay for their audacity. If I lose my scourges, I only have severely wounded dark lances to try to pick up that gladiator. A big 10 primary points puts Steve in a healthy spot, 28 to 16. This spot here is going to move right up here. Outriders move in and Tantalus responds with Overwatch. No more command points for JT. On twos. Let's see these. He kills the multi melter Outrider. Nifty trick shot there. Uh, the Terminators are going to advance. Steve needs to re-roll for his Terminator's advance to a solid nine inches. Don't take that out of context. That is the end of my movement phase. I've only got these units left. So All one, right, two, sir. Three. Uh, so uh, eight shots off the bolt guns into the Scourges. The Terminators shoot the Scourges. Big saves, no damage. Uh, and then the Lancer yes, is going to shoot the large weapon into here. Oh, boy. Now the Gladiator weighs in. Split fire. Yeah, all the small guns are going to shoot into the Scourges. The Storm Bolters. Yarp. Oh, yeah, good call, thank you. I lose the Scourge, okay. Uh, Iron Hail Heavy Stammer. Three ups again. I lose another mod. It has the Icarus Rocket Pod. D3 shots. Threes re-rolling. So one hit, and then a two up. Four up. Goes through. Scourges lose three. I don't know if that's it. Two on twos. Come on, Vect! I'm gonna re-roll one of these bad boys with the optic thing, so two hits. The cannon blows the Ravager away. No boom for Nick, though. That is two points for no prisoners, though. Technically three, because tactical. My Outriders shoot your Venom. So hitting on fours. Outriders shoot the Venom, but can't finish it. I am going to spend one command point. Mm -hmm. The Terminators gain Fusillade for a command point. Assault weapons to finish the scourges. Rerolling. And then on threes, rerolling. Beast Marine! Success. No more scourges. Bam, bam, bam. No, oh, man, I get all of the scourges are dead. It feels great. And this is not good. He's having a great turn. I gotta weather this. I just gotta hope that the T10 Tantalus can weather some chain fists and, and get me out of this because I'm in trouble. I feel good right in here where my heart is. Sorry, where my both both of my hearts are. Oh, it feels awesome. I'm gonna go for broke, let's just do it. Okay. So the, the Outriders are going to move. The charge. Bikes need an eight. Oh, that's a seven, oh no. It's probably not gonna be that bad, but I'm definitely not happy that I've messed up this charge. Oh, my Lanta, he missed his charge. He just missed his charge with his Outriders, and I think, I think, I think there's a glimmer. I got a chance here. This is this is this is not good. It's probably not good. Uh, then the Terminators are going to charge your Venom. The Terminators show them how it's done and succeed their charge. 
So uh, Terminator succeed in the charge, mm -hmm. but only three of them can actually fight. Hitting on threes. The Terminators punch at the Venom, but fail to kill it. Chainsaws are not so accurate. Discarding behind enemy lines and four for, for no prisoners, 32 to 16, Steve is showing focus and determination. A little bit of luck is all I need. I need to now take advantage of this and make him pay for his hubris. Silly space marine! All right, so start of my turn. I will gain a command point, and a four up I get a second one. I do not. Defend stronghold and extend battle lines. JT will need to be everywhere all at once. Five on primary. That's only 21 to Steve's 32. JT has work to do. All right, so I'll start my movement phase. I gain a pain token because I have the homunculus on the table. Advance my racks. They're gonna go five inches extra, so they're gonna go 12, running to the objective. And then the Archon and his squadron are gonna hop out. So we're gonna do a flyover and a viscerating flyby. Looking for fours. I get one reroll because of the sergeant. Three mortal wounds to your bike squad, sir. I'm gonna run these Cabalite Warriors. Back Cabalite ends his movement here, which means they get inside. The dance continues. Cabalites mount up, the Venom falls back. So I'm just gonna go to here. Sorry, I wanted to move these guys up an inch. Yeah, that's right, go for it. So gonna be I'll add your one inch to the thing. So it's time to start my shooting phase. Ravager, Archon, and Tantalus get pain tokens, and the shooting begins. The bikes. I'm gonna heat lance your bikes. Hits. Wounds at AP four. The L riders get strafed by jet bikes. Zap one. The melt a lance. Hot. So I will put the shredder and both blast pistols into the bike, and I will put everything else into the terminators. So the shredder and the blast pistols. Blast pistol on a two. Archon squad peppers the outriders and terminators. The bikes are now gone. Now I have a splinter cannon, a blaster, and a dark lance. I armor of contempt. Yeah, then. absolutely. The big guns into the Terminators and two fall, despite an armor of contempt stratagem from Steve. I've got Cabalite Warriors and Grotesques inside the Tantalus. It's got firing deck 16. So I will send my splinter rifles into the Terminators back on the right flank. Then the Tantalus Pulse Disintegrators and the Grotesque Flamers are going to target the squad in the middle of the board. So I will start eight shots, hitting you on threes with full rerolls. Here we go. Three, three plus. Two ups. I fail one, so that one guy dies. Yep. Three D6 flamers into the squad mid table is going to be 13 shots. Two up saves. <laughs> oh, fail one. Hitting you on threes with pulse disintegrators. Sure. With full rerolls. Me now. There are no rerolls, though. Space Marines! I fail one, so that one guy dies. So it kills one. <sighs> Not enough. It's charge face time, here we go. Archon squad, charging the Terminators with a 10. Oh. Archon charge. The Reavers follow them in. I'm sending the Tantalus into the middle of the table. It's nine, nine will get me there. Now the Tantalus backs into the Terminators and will fight through the teeny tiny bases. Here we go. That's uh, five, which means it's three mortal wounds. Sure, so you kill one of these. I'm going to empower my Archon squad. I may as well empower the Reavers as well. Spend all my pain tokens. Archon first. Five attacks on twos. Archon and friends start, and Steve uses Armor of Contempt for free with his captain. So I'll reroll the twos. Yes. Cabalite squad are winning you on threes. Okay. Uh, Rerolling everything because of the Archon. Anti-infantry three. The Terminators are executed neatly, leaving a lone captain. Reaver jet bikes. Jet bikes stab, but the captain only takes one wound. I failed one. All right, sir. Fighting, fighting you back. Yeah, into the Archon squad. Okay. Huh. Covenant self. Sixes. I lose three. One, two, who? Things are unraveling and is not good. This has been a fun game. I've loved the little speed thing, but the House of Cards has come down around me. I don't love it. The battle lines extend for five points. 
32 to 26, Drukari trail the White Scars, but the losses mount for the Space Marines as the Fell Elves execute their devious raid. He has lots of tools left. He is not out of it yet. I've cleared out the middle of the board. I didn't think that would happen. I didn't think I could pick up all those Terminators, and I have. That's big. He's left with his captain, and that's it. JT is winning the race, but possibly losing the game. During my turn, we each gain a command point. Secondaries are cleanse and attempting target, which will be the corner mountain objective. Tempting target? Wow, don't you dare tempt me with a good time. Let's do this. The racks are the oath of target. Prepare for bullet hell. Another solid 10 for the White Scars. Score 42 to 26. Tantalus Overwatch into the captain. Oh, I take it. Two wounds, but he survives. So the Terminator's over there, they're gonna advance. Come at me, bro. I love it. Yes, three. Yes. yes. You're gonna re-roll it? I'm gonna re-roll it with the with the enhancement. Only six. That will be a very long charge. I go into my shoe sting phase. <laughs> Lancer blasts the racks and tosses some rockets at the bikes. I'm gonna spend one command point on insensible to pain on my rack squad to make them minus one to be wounded for the rest of the shooting phase. Uh, this is the um, iron hail. It's unfortunate. Uh, sixes. Oops. Sixes. Nope. And fours. Nope. Kills two. Two shots off of the laser destructor into the racks. So uh, hitting on threes, are you rolling? Threes. Oh, I get to re-roll a wound? Yeah, I get to re-roll one of whatever, but... One AP a lot. Six! It's it's possible. I uh, re-roll. Uh, nine. You know, nine four-ups on the one guy. <laughs> Here we go. Death. Yeah, <laughs> death. So then D3 shots from the Icarus rocket pod into those guys. I'm gonna roll a three, I'm gonna hit them all, I'm gonna wound them all, I'm gonna fail them all, and I slice the whole I unit. I wanna see it. I wanna see it, baby. D3 shots. Bring it! Oh, it's one shot, it's not Boo, Ernst, you have a command point. No, I'm not doing that, I don't even hit you. The Terminators use Fusilov to shoot on the run. One command point down. No more command points for Steve. The Venom lives, weaving between the rounds. The captain goes into there. Okay. The captain needs an eight inch charge to hit the homunculus unit. I believe in a thing called love. Captain charges the racks. Rights of battle reroll gets him in. Whoosh. Oh, and he's in too. Mmm, yeah. So into the Venom we go, huzzah, with a six. Terminators charge the Venom and just tank it, and the Tantalus might get drawn in with a pile in. Let's fight. All right, sir, I cannot interrupt you, it's all you. Into the Venom, which tags the Tantalus. And then this guy to here, get to here. So he'll have to go that way, but you'll have two guys and three guys. One chain fist into the Venom. Three up, because you're a vehicle. I need a six. Nope, the Venom is dead. The Venom is dead. Venom smacks down. The dice run cold for Steve and no damage to the Tantalus. But this could be hilarious. Captain, my captain. Yeah, oh, I Captain, my captain. If I get this from you, oh my goodness, it's amazing. So good. So good. <laughs> my twos. Captain bashes away at the racks and takes them down. Only the homunculus left. You killed them, I get a pain token. So if you don't kill me, I steal the subjective from you, which is hilarious. Five attacks. AP one, twos, and anti-infantry two up. The wily flesh artist goes and carves out the captain's brave heart, neat and tidy. Nope, that was not, uh, that was actually sort of embarrassing. So, damn it. Tantalus attacks. Tantalus wounds a Terminator and the round ends. I think that my homunculus just picked up the captain. I think that's the end of the game. I don't think he can come back from this. I'm gonna go hide in my Tantalus like a big fat coward and I'm gonna stay away from all of his stuff. JT scores three secondary, and the score is 42 to 29 into the bottom of four. The captain went down, leaving the scars with precious few assets as the Drukhari close in. Investigate signals and behind enemy lines may be a challenge for JT to score. Both players up to one CP. 10 primary means that Steve is only ahead by three, 42 to 39. Let's move the bikes 16 inches, shall we? Positioning here for the killing blow. Honestly, at this point, I just get back in the Tantalus. 
So they just hop back in. So I'm literally just going to drop down here and stay. And then I'm going to shoot the what's it's out of you. Pain token the Tantalus, and I'll pain token the Reapers too. The splinter rifles into your gladiator Reaper. Come on, baby. There's one wound, sir. No AP. Heat lance. Hit strength 14. Hit wounds. AP 4. D6 plus, oops, D6 plus 3. 8 damage. Lancer, blast it. Everything from the Tantalus is going to go into the squad that it's engaged with. Tantalus looks to put Steve down in the middle. Uh, fail one. Okay. Archon's Blast Pistol hits, and uh, Capolite Blast Pistol hits and wounds at AP3. Uh, yep, yeah, takes it. For two damage. Sounds good. The Blaster hits and wounds at AP4. Right. I think that's six damage. The one guy was already wounded, right? Seven, eight Splinter Shots. The Terminators don't last, and Steve is tabled in the bottom of round four. Zip, zap, kapow! With that, the game is over, but the scoring continues. And with that, I, uh, I think that the writing is on the wall entirely now, as uh, J JT has lifted up most of the assets that I have left. Behind enemy lines for two, area denial five, capture enemy outpost for eight, score for JT, along with another 15 for primary in JT's solo fifth round. Add 10 for paint, makes 79 to 52 the final score. Drukari victory. Rough stuff, look at that, what is that? What is that, they're four up involves. Steve led the entire game, but the armor gave out and he was tabled by the dastardly Dark Eldar. The raid was successful, and the Rukari have some real trophies after this gem of a game. JT even won the race. Well, it's hard to run after a dark lance to the face. This game was so close until it was so far. <laughs> I just pulled off a victory from the jaws of defeat, and dice helped me, but fail charges, man. Dice tell stories, and, and there's nothing to do about it. Steve played a fantastic game, but I've just got too many assets left at the end of the game. Huge thank you to JT joining me at the table today, and thank you to all of you, our patrons, our YouTube members, for helping us keep these lights on. Awesome game, fantastic opponent, great result. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows and access to our Discord, the most happening 40K community around. Until we see you next time, play on.